like, oh my God, guys, look how ununiformed that is. Hello everyone, my name is Mo. I'm a pharmacist and I'm currently in the process of getting my master's degree in pharmaceutical science. I'm really obsessed with the skincare and I'm really passionate about it. So if you are interested in knowing about skincare and getting the advice about skincare that is science-based, please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. So we all know the famous apricot scrub by St. Ives. We all used it in our teen years to scrub away the depression and the acne, of course. Until recent years, this scrub was used a lot by everyone, especially teens. For a long time, it was on the top of the pyramid of skincare. It was endorsed by a lot of dermatologists and skin experts. That feeling of physical exfoliation on our skin that uh, give us like the good feeling that we are scrubbing away the impurities and the acnes and all uh, our skin problem away but until recent years there is a lot of discussion and a drama about this uh, specific product so in this video i'm taking a different aspect uh, from the other video that i used to do uh, the earlier video that I used to do was based on the science and the uh, theoretical um, approach of uh, getting to know what is the best product, what is the best ingredients. And uh, in this video, I decided to go and do the test myself. Today, I'm going to bring this scrub to my lab and show you everything, the bad, the worst, and the horrible that you are going to see. You are going to see uh, the macroscopic uh, test that I did and the microscopic test that I did. And I will show you every photo that I took from my microscope. So everything uh, you are going to see is a, a photo that I've taken personally, nothing from the, uh, the internet. So I'm going to show you why this scrub is going to cause you a lot of problem in the short term and on the long term of using it plus uh, i will show you and hopefully try to con to convince you not to use it again because it's the worst thing that you can use for your skin but before showing you every photo that i took uh, from my lab and microscope i want to talk about the story and speculation and how all of this begin Let's go back to 2017 when a lawsuit was faced towards St. Ives and even the parent company Unilever over this apricot scrub uh, due to concern uh, for uh, damaging skin in the short term and on the long term and causing microscopic tears in the skin. The lawsuit was estimated to be $5 million against the uh, parent company Unilever and unfortunately in 2018 the company uh, succeeded to push away the lawsuit from the uh, court and uh, closed the case and nothing uh, happened after this then everything resurfaced in 2019 when the uh, famous youtuber Hiram uh, talked about this uh, St. Ives scrub and how it is going to affect your skin in a bad way and why you shouldn't use it ever again then the CEO of the uh, St. Ives uh, company uh, went to the uh, Times magazine and did an in interview stating that the walnut uh, uh, powder that they use in the apricot scrub is uh, well uh, made and very fine and the particles uh, are uh, so uh, uh, polished and they don't have any sharp edges or anything that could harm your skin. So of course I didn't believe the statement of the CEO of the company St. Ives so I took that scrub and I went to the, my lab and uh, experiment on it with did a few tests like macroscopic tests and microscopic tests and I saw everything that would really really destroy your skin and I will show you right now. Here guys I'm showing you the process that I used to test the apricot scrub from uh, St. Ives. I took a little bit and put it on the slide, the glass slide and diluted a little bit of water and put it under my microscope to check uh, the, if the walnut granule is uniform and uh, smooth as the CEO of the company said to check if his claims is it true or false and I now will show you the picture that I took from my microscope.
as you can see guys from the picture here it's unbelievable we can see very sharp uh, angle of the walnut uh, particles like we can see a knife grade sharpness for this particle it's supposed to be smooth and rounded we can see here like a literal square with sharp edges that can literally cause a lot of damage to your skin here guys I'm showing you the macroscopic test which we use our vision to see if there is uh, an uniformity in the uh, uh, scrub like we can literally see there is a huge uh, uh, particles and small particles this is a big problem in scrubs scrubs needs to be when made uh, uh, in a very good way needs the particle of the physical scrub to be uniformed as possible uh, as we can to not cause a lot of problem to the skin and cause micro tears this is like a very poorly made uh, physical scrub as you saw in the video like there is a lot of problem with that walnut scrub first of all the particle size is hugely different it's not uh, uh, one size at all like we have big chunks small chunks like you see here in the picture we have uh, uh, chunks with the uh, very sharp edges that will literally cause a micro tear in your skin micro tears in your skin uh, over a long period of time will accumulate to um, push an inflammatory response this inflammatory response will slowly destroy your collagen your elastin and will push uh, um, the melanocytes to produce more melanin and cause hyperpigmentation this all problem can be caused by this scrub because it's like never um, made well like the particle of the walnut uh, scrub is like we have big uh, particle we have small particle we have particle with sharp edges so you need really to stay away from this scrub and at the end of the video i will show you uh, an alternative for physical scrub that are more gentle more eco-friendly and can replace this scrub uh, in a sap here guys are my two choices one from wishful and the other from paula choice the paula choice have a uh, jojoba uh, seeds that can uh, degrade while you are using it so you can't uh, harm your skin so this was the video that i made i really worked hard for it to give you every uh, photo and every video that i could and i showed you in uh, evidence and photos why you should never use this scrub again because it will literally destroy your skin i hope you liked that video and please if you enjoyed it share it with anyone that is using this scrub to uh, help him and or help her to stay away from this scrub and uh, spread the uh, information and please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe and comment and if you have any question about my uh, uh, YouTube channel or about your skincare routine that you need to adjust I will gladly answer you in the comment so I wish you a great uh, evening and I see you in the next video bye